let's now look at article 16 and uh, article 16 basically deals with director's fees now what can happen is that there can be a director who can be a non-resident and this person may act as a director of a company in the source state the question that comes up is if the company pays a director fees to such a non-resident how will the taxability be in the state of source how will the taxability be in the state of residence and would there be a mechanism for the credit of taxes that might have been paid in the source state under this particular article as of now what we are going to look at is what is the taxation of such income insofar as a tax treaty is concerned so article 16 of the oecd model convention deals with the taxation of director's fees and what article 16 says is that director fees and similar payments so let's say there is a director who's a state or uh, who's a resident of the state of residence and he acts as a director in a company in the source state for acting as such there is a payment in the nature of director's fees that is made to such director the question is how will this income be taxed in the source state so what article 16 says is that director fees and similar payments similar payments as in payments in the nature of maybe which would be a board fees or a board commission something like that we we'll look at this in detail in the subsequent slides derived by a resident of a contracting state resident of state are in his capacity now the fees that he is getting should be in the capacity of what as a member of board of directors of a company so he is acting as a member of board of directors of a company which is a resident of the other contracting state what does that mean that means that if the company is a resident of a third state or is a resident of the same state where this person is a resident then this clause will not apply but if the company where this person is a director is a resident of the state of source and there's a tax treaty between these two which is on line with article 16 of the oecd model tax convention then such fees which he receives in the capacity of a member this is important so if he is receiving so let's say a person x is a director in esco he receives two money from esco one as a director fee because he's a member of board of directors and second is that he is acting as in some other capacity maybe as an employee so he gets salary from this company or a professional fees let's say he's a chartered accountant he's providing accounting services and assuming that is not in conflict with the laws and he gets the audit fees so the money that he gets is not in the capacity of a director the money he gets is in his capacity as an auditor or maybe as an employee those are not covered within the meaning of article 16 uh, this may be covered under business profit under article 7 read with article 5 employment income may be covered under the dependent personal services clause article 15 but only if the fee is in his capacity as a member of board of directors i just want to clarify once again generally a director is not the auditor of the company but this was just for the purpose of explaining this particular part to you then that is something which is going to get taxed under article 16. so let's look at some of the key characteristics of article 16. the first one is what is it that should be derived by the non-resident so what he should receive is either a director fees or similar payments now similar payments can even include stock options which are given to directors for acting in their capacity as a member of board of directors if the stock option is issued in some other capacity they are not taxed under article 16. who should derive these director fees 
the person who's deriving this should be a resident of the other contracting state. So if the source state has a treaty with some other contracting state and this person who's acting as a director is a member or a resident of that contracting state, then only Article 16 is applicable. In what capacity? His capacity should be that of a member of a board of director of a company which is a resident of the other contracting state. In other words, the state of source. Who has the right to, to tax? In such a case, the source state has the right to tax such income. And this right is not an exclusive right. This is actually a non-exclusive right given to the state of source for taxing such income. The state of residence also has a right to tax such income. 